It was the request of LCs to uh, have an ambitious temperature goal. We have been having challenges with 1.1. You can imagine we'll have more challenges even with 1.5. If you look at what's happening globally now with an increase of 1.1 research years, there is no country in the world which has been immune from the current impacts of climate change variability. The report, special report, reconfirms that this 1.5 pathway is achievable and possible. And it has also indicated the, uh, the, the kind of actions which we need to undertake. And it was very clear that business as usual with current indices would not be the right way to reach to 1.5. These uh, least developed countries have been uh, uh, victims of the impacts of climate change and variability for long. Most of our development efforts have been reversed because of the frequent occurrence of floods and droughts. Uh, so we learn the hard way. We have been trying our best to sustain our development by investing more on adaptation. And of course, we are also taking the leadership on mitigation action as well. However, the, the actions that we have been undertaking are not sufficient to address the adaptation needs of uh, our most vulnerable people which, in which the economy is very sensitive to climate shocks. So the LDCs, we, even if we have competing interests in terms of eradicating poverty, addressing development, our efforts in eradicating poverty and addressing development will not be sustainable unless we follow a green way of developing low carbon resilient development strategies. For us LDCs, we have the potential to make use of the renewable energy sources. So in this regard, to the first point is increasing ambition, uh, ambition and become active in the addressing mitigation. We all need to be prepared to address the resilience component. So countries need to make, try to make their sectors to be resilient to the shocks of climate change. So the second action is be active and in planning as well as implementation on adaptation. And the third point is for us to be ambitious in terms of mitigation and addressing adaptation, we need enablers, enablers in terms of technology transfer, capacity development, as well as finance. The IPC 1.5 report has been mandated for, for it to be used as an input for the Talanoa dialogue. But on the rule book, uh, I think it will improve confidence among parties so that Having a robust rule book is a prerequisite for achieving the 1.5. Now it becomes very clear that 1.5 is achievable. So in the IPC special report will guide the uh, formulation and adoption of the guidelines, and then the guidelines will help countries to have an ambitious NDC to be communicated before 2020.